Every human and animal are made of cells. To keep their bodies growing and repairing, the cells have to duplicate, replacing the old ones. The process of cells being duplicated is called mitosis. New cells are being created in your body right now. The first stage of mitosis is interphase. During this stage, cells may seem inactive, but they are actually doing a lot. The cell replicates DNA, the centrioles divide, and the proteins are produced. Centrioles are two organelles that help the cell when it's time to divide. They are found near the nucleus and only appear when the cell is dividing. Chromosomes are the twisted structures that are made of protein and one molecule of DNA. They help ensure that the DNA remains tightly wrapped around the protein. The next stage of mitosis is prophase. In this stage, the nuclear envelope deteriorates until there is no longer a recognizable nucleus. Also, some mitotic spindle fibers grow from the centrosomes and attach to the kintojores. Protein collects at the centromere area where sister chromatids are connected. Other spindle fibers elongate, overlapping each other at the cell center. Spindle fibers form a protein that divides the genetic material in a cell. It is responsible for dividing the chromosomes between two daughter cells. Centromeres are the little circles in the center of the chromatids. They link the two sister chromatids together. Chromatids are made up of one copy of a newly replicated chromosome, which is usually joined to the other copy by a centromere. The third stage of mitosis is metaphase. During this stage, the tension from the spindle fibers cause the chromosomes to form a line at the center of the cell. In the cell, there is still spindle fibers, centrioles, and chromatids. stage is anaphase. During this stage, spindle fibers become shorter and the kintochores separate. The chromatids, daughter chromosomes, are pulled apart and moved to the opposite side of the cell. Spindle fibers, centrioles, and chromatids are still here. stage is telophase. In this stage, the daughter chromosomes arrive at opposite sides of the cells and the fibers that pulled them apart disappear. The last stage of mitosis is cytokinesis. This is when the cytoplasmic division occurs and two daughter cells are created. Now the process continues. Every cell that is created creates more cells. It never ends until you die. That was a lot of information. To help you remember, let's go over it. As we know, the first stage of mitosis is interphase. This is the stage where the cell spends most of its life. It looks inactive, but it is obtaining nutrients, growing, reading its DNA, and conducting other normal cell functions. Prophase is when the cell gets the idea that it's time to divide. First, it has to get everything ready. It has to duplicate DNA and get certain pieces in the right position, specifically centrioles, and generally get prepared for the process of mitotic division. To remind you, centrioles are the little red circles at the top of the cell. Metaphase is when all of the pieces are aligning themselves for the big split. The chromatids line up along the cell's middle and the spindle fibers attached to the centromeres, the center of the chromatids. The fourth stage is anaphase. This is when things start to get exciting. The cell is preparing to split. Half of the chromatids go to one side of the cell and the others go to the other side. The fifth stage
stage of mitosis is telophase. During this phase, the sister chromatids reach opposite poles and each daughter cell begins to form a nucleus. This is the last stage before the daughter cells are completely divided. In this diagram, the nucleus is the blue circle that's covered with chromatids. Last but not least, cytokinesis. This is the stage where both daughter cells are completely divided. Now these cells will go through mitosis and their daughter cells will go through mitosis and the process will go on.